righty. Let's get this show on the road. Got that power steering issue fixed, that was a good thing. Let it happen when it did. It's 
going to be a lot of little interesting jobs if you think about it. That fifth wheel has to be taken out meticulously, a new one made, that new rail, that one piece of rail patched, that and everything all put back together. That will take time. I'm really hoping that that keeps everybody more enthused and more eager to watch these videos to see what all am I doing? What's, what am I growing this into more than just driving Orwell and hauling a piece of MB equipment like I am right now? FSC trucking. Yikes, it's a humid one today. It's going to be a sweaty one. Morning, Chris. Man, oh man. I see you got oil outside. Yeah, it is real humid today. So, as soon as you open the door, the floor, put it, think about it. It's still early in the season, the ground is still cool. It's hot and humid outside, so as soon as that hot, humid air hits that cool floor, blam, it's like a it's, it, it's like a brand new bottle of beer you just pulled out of your refrigerator. All righty, now on to today's video. Sorry, everybody, I really don't have a solid plan as to what we're going to do today. Um, the original plan was we're gonna go up to MB, and we probably still are, we're gonna go up to MB and go get loaded. But I got a phone call very early in the morning being like, yo, hold up a little bit. That stuff ain't ready quite yet. So the, the truck that they built that's got to go out, it's uh, not quite ready yet as anticipated. So good thing. I'd rather get the phone call and be told, hey, sit cool on your stool. Get something else done while you're waiting for us to get our truck done. When we're done, we'll call you. So we're waiting on that phone call. So in the meanwhile, I'm like, okay, what are we going to do with today? You're not just going to sit around and do nothing. So may as well get started on some projects around here. So I just got off the phone with a couple places. I'm debating on whether I want to work on the step deck or whether start continuing, I should say, working on the chapel trailer's upper fifth wheel plate. That's this ugly piece of steel right here. Well, ultimately, I can get steel for this quickly and easy today. The steel for the step deck, I gotta wait. I'm waiting on stake pockets and spools. Spools I can cut, stake pockets, not so much. So what we're gonna do is, I ordered the steak pockets, they'll be in here, today's Monday, they'll be Wednesday, now we can get started on that crap. But we can start on this right now and start getting it ready to get, you know, put back together, put in the trailer, so we can eventually start getting this big large unit up out of here and rescue my bait too. It's amazing how much of my equipment winds up in a scrap barrel. Dude, you ever wonder the tonnage of material that just flakes off of stuff and winds up on a shop floor? That's a lot of weight going in a dumpster. Oh, all right. Well, we got to make this look nice, shiny, and new here eventually. All right, let's get this day started. A while back, we had taken pre-orders for industrial work shirts and... There was delays on top of delays, all of which ultimately would be my fault. But if you look at, we're still working here in, I got my t-shirt, Chris just got, I don't know, some random t-shirt. I don't know where he got that from. Oh, it's not random, right in the back. Diesel, you can keep your mileage, I'll keep my manhood. Well, that shot fired over that dude, ain't it? <laughs> I don't know if you get it. All right, with that. Industrial work shirts. He got his shirt, I got mine. Well, what we're wearing is my point. We don't even have ours yet. Friday, this Friday, June 21st, we take delivery of all of the work shirts that we ordered. I just gotta get over there and get them. Now, once we get them, we're gonna start shipping them. People have been asking, where's my shirt, where's my shirt? 
Whoa, same spot mine is, sitting at the place waiting to get them. With that, we have more than what you guys ordered. So, FSC Industrial Work shirts are available, fsctrucking.com. Yes, I know, we have to order more Orwell shirts. There are still a bunch more in stock. Orwell Godfather shirts are in stock. Also, keep an eye in the future, we're gonna drop another Orwell shirt. It's gonna be a totally different design. So with that, if you didn't order your industrial work shirt, fsctrucking.com. If you did order one, this Friday we're picking them up, shipping them out, starts Friday. Alrighty everybody, so now we figured out what we gotta get. I'm gonna go to the steel supply shop, I got my shopping list in my pocket. We're gonna go ahead and go pick up steel to start working on that. Chris is gonna continue cleaning that up. So once we get our steel, we're gonna come right back here, start welding onto that thing. up this kingpin and start squishing it back in shape.
star mark is. Damn it, fast check! <laughs> All righty, now the goal to this is to be able to plug weld this to that flat piece of sheet metal that we just bought. Sheet metal being a 3 16th inch thick steel. So the way this worked was this was, there were holes in the kingpin itself, and then the kingpin was plug welded to the sheet metal itself. I don't know how they did it with that upper plate there. Apparently they reached down a robotic arm to weld it, I guess. So we're gonna just do the opposite. We're gonna plug weld the sheet steel to the kingpin. That's how we're gonna do it. So this whole thing needs to be nice and smooth. You can see the old plug weld right there, that little circle right there. That's the old plug weld. So I got that whole face of it nice and smooth. This way when the sheet metal goes, I keep calling it sheet metal, but it's, you know, plate. Once the plate goes down, there'll be a hole in it and at least four or five holes drilled into it, and then you'll be able to plug weld it. You'll see when we get to that point. Next we have to deal with is this frown, or smile, depending on which side it is. So with that, we're just gonna press it in the end and push in the center using my 1947 50-ton press. 1947 meaning built May 9, 1947. And you guys thought my trucks were old. Alrighty, so I acquired from a dad's, my dad's best friend, a man by the name of A.J. Miller, God rest his soul. I don't know where he acquired this thing from, but I acquired it from him. And let me tell you, it has worked its way around here for many more things than just simply this. So it's a K.R. Wilson Model 37E 50 ton press. It's got two weight selections on it, 50 ton, and three ton. Um, it usually would have a handle you put in here to work on it, but I don't have the handle. So it's made for some serious, serious pressure. So with that, let's get ahead and get this started. I think I have to lower it. Yeah, I gotta lower one pin. Basic, the basic idea. Ooh, spread too wide. Put that in. Put that in. Probably could have. Might want to. No. Oh, maybe. It just clears. That's all we need. Perfect. So the very basic idea is to squish this down. So we'll start there. That's it. Not too fancy. Out of center as close as I can. There you go. There we are. I believe this angle, this this press is 50 right here. I don't think we're gonna need half of that. I should straighten it right out. See it sprung back a little. Damn sure closer than it was. Hey, 
Yeah, like that, huh? Much nicer. Much flatter. One really wants to be a perfectionist. boys and girls that right there is how we go ahead and handle that straightening up that metal this is not a that's done we still have more cleanup work to do it's amazing how much work this takes We'll be down here and we'll laugh at you. <laughs> Got that time set right, don't you? I hope so. It's close enough. Set fast so I get home early. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give a shout out to Rob and Charlie over at SH2. Charlie makes those clocks. SH2, I guess he works for him over there. But yeah, so if Charlie made me that clock, Rob made sure I got one for the shop. Got to represent our friends. There you go, sh2.net. The other video I made a mistake, I said .com. No, it's .net. Link in description below. Thanks, Rob and Charlie, for the clock. All righty. See, Chris wants to go home early. Well, I just ate my lunch. It was lunch time, so now it's welding time. I might have made a little mistake here, boys and girls. So... Let me show you what we're doing and why. I'm going to take these out. The fifth wheel had a big frown in it, or a smile, depending on how it was. It sits in there like so. You label it A, A, B, B, and so forth. That way I got it right, because we trimmed it, cleaned it up. Now, if you look, you'll see the fifth wheel sits lower than this. It needs to be flush. If you look, you see the kingpin sits lower than this steel. It's supposed to be flush. So apparently, when they built it, they put that in there intentionally to raise it up. Well, that might work, but that's not how we're gonna do it. We're gonna add a lot more weld to what was original. <clears throat> we're gonna weld this strap down, fully weld it, and end. Then we're gonna put piece of angle there like so fully weld it and and that'll elevate it up so we'll mock it up for you so you see so maybe I should have left the frown in maybe not don't know this one we still got to clean up a little bit and then put it inside like so there we go then the kingpin will weld fully there and there 
which to be honest is more than it was prior. So it'll be a lot more weld in there and now, I forgot to mention, it's flush. So now we'll take our test piece and there you go. That little bit of gap, that can weld up easy. The other side, same. There we are. So when we skin it, the skin will weld directly to this bottom piece as well as here and there. But for now, we gotta go ahead and weld layer one, layer two, and then weld that in. And for that, we're gonna use two different welders. The MIG machine is good for smaller stuff. My big arc welder is good for the bigger stuff. That's why we were practicing a while back when I built the stand for the Ford frame, it was to get me back proficient at welding with the arc welder, or stick welder commonly known. All right, let's get this started. So now what I gotta do is set this bad boy in there, line up the center. Got the center line mark right there, right through the top. I'll mark where that goes. I set them in. I'm gonna tack weld here and here with my MIG machine and lift this out so I can get underneath the kingpin itself. Once we get the tacks done, we're gonna use the stick welder to finish it. I'll get them done and be like, woohoo, that looks awesome. Other times it's like, yeah. Try again, homeboy. 
the other thing is this is loose too. The handle on there. It's only like older than us. Don't be impatient. Don't whack it while it's red. I was doing this on a live stream. The guy told me if you do it perfect, when you dink it with the hammer, the whole thing shatters off. Yeah. There he goes. Now it's white. <laughs> it, it doesn't like it. There we go. That's the first pass. Ain't the prettiest thing on planet Earth. I guarantee you that's better than what was. Two more passes on each. Yeah, see, I have no idea how the video is going to play out. Will it be just an update video with it or run it as its own? We can with another piece of angle with the, with the three inch something. And, and yeah, yeah, we can. It hurt. Curled up by itself. 
My dad used to always tell me you want to be really, really good at something. A thousand hours. You got to put it in. Just, just a matter of putting the time in. I know how to use a stick. I'm just not steady enough. That's the I think. It just I can use two hands with a big. I'm yeah. steadier. No, I know. I get it. Dude, I, when I started building that, you see my live stream? It was terrible. Man, 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 man. Yeah. It was, it was terrible. It sounds dumb. By the time I got done with it, I was actually reasonably good. Every time I ever use a big, I weld something to play with it. Yeah. Damn, this is nice. Well, the guy that ran the shop, he walked over and turned the gas on. He said, try it now. That's not fair. Well, no, it was a good weld. The gas just made it better. It's gonna land where it lands. I'm just eyeballing it with what I can maybe reach curl in there. Let's see how it goes. There's a gap to fill in there, so you like really just lay it in and just let it sit in there. Not a huge gap, but yeah. Yeah, that's But I'll let you get down in there, maybe. Oh, yeah. naval ship called Sammy B. Roberts. There's like two or three of them. The last the last uh, iteration of that ship was uh, hit by an Iranian mine, I think during around Gulf War I. The commander of that ship, when they brought it back, they brought it back in, they sent it back to Bath Ironworks in Maine where they had built it. The commander of that ship actually thanked the welders that built that ship because they said when they when they x-rayed where the explosion had hit it the metal was sheared up and torn up but there were no cracked or broken welds the welds were stronger than the rest of the steel and i never ever in all the different things you see on discovery channel or they talk about all the different admirals and the captains but this commander gave homage and thanks to the men and women that built that ship. You don't see that too often. Yeah. I think about that when I run this antique equipment like that. The amount of badass stuff built by people way better than me. You know, old equipment like Orwell will always give you trouble. There'll always be something happening. how you overcome it. More modern trucks don't have the types of problems like your power steering pump reservoir coming off. But after a while, those plastic lines will break and it'll create a bigger problem. Like Chris said, the more modern pumps won't last through oil starvation. They'll just break. They won't work any longer. Or this one survive. Then you have some $100 sensor that you can't get. We'll leave you a truck at the dealer for three months. I don't know 
by you, that's just not, it just doesn't work well.